Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop crying. Finally. No, you're not hearing voices. What are you talking about? Can't see me, huh? Open your eyes, goddammit. Are you, are you really this? Whatever. Look under your bed for health's sake. There you go. I know I'm scary, but if you don't scream, I might think of not hurting you. What do you mean I'm cute? No, I'm not. Stop talking people shit. I demand you to stop crying and be happy. This is going on for quite a while now and it's going on my horns, I swear to Satan. You know, as monsters and demons all need our scary sleep, otherwise we're not prepared for the night and our performance might not be that good. Well, of course I'm a monster, what else would I be? Definitely not one of your old plushies. Even though my fur is really soft, but that doesn't matter right now. <sighs> yes, I live under your bed because you're my human. That's right, you're my human. You were the chosen idiot that is now my work. You could be a lot more thankful for having me, the scariest out of them all, as a personal monster. <laughs> no. No, you're not allowed to touch me. And again, I'm not cute and fluffy. Well, uh, fluffy, yes. But, but never mind. Okay, fine, but only if you stop crying and stop saying you're useless. Because... Because y you're not. This takes all of my strength, I swear. Be nice. Y you're not useless or worthless or anything the slightest. I wish you day and night. I swear I'm not a stalker. This is my job. I'm not nice. I'm the scariest thing you've ever seen. Now get back up on bed. Move to the side, a bit more, perfect. Now let me on the blanket. Come on, don't be shy now, or am I too spooky to handle? Come here, as long as you stop crying, it's okay if you touch me, I think. I mean, I'm supposed to scare you and all, but my most important task is to take care of you. I mean, you're the only human I get to scare for the rest of my life, so I don't want to lose you, you see. You're really important for me to become successful and a proud monster. Try to get your mind off of these bad thoughts, my favorite human. I mean, I'm extra nice to you and show that you're really important to me. It's not the kind of stuff that makes people happy. Here, you can hold me until you feel better. Other people besides you can't see me, so there shouldn't be a problem. But don't get any weird ideas, you can't bring me with you to work or let alone go outside with me. Otherwise I might get fired, and that's nothing I want to experience, to be honest. <sighs> this is the last time, I swear. I'm not cute. At least you're not crying anymore. That's something, I guess. Mm. You're rather cute. And a handsome human as well. Mm, wanna have some candy? I know that sad humans feel better when they eat this sweet delicacy. So take one. They are from you. You dropped a few of them two weeks ago. I don't really like them, but you seem to like them a lot. So I kept them in case there is a little emergency like this. I hope you feel a little better now, my sad human. Hopefully now my happy human. I can stay if you want me to. I think. I develop a soft spot for you, but don't tell anyone. Wait, how could you? Well, uh, never mind. Um, remember, my human, I believe in you. You're worth it, whatever it might be. And most importantly, are you loved? Now get some rest, and let all those worries flow away. Defeat them by finding your peace in dreamland. Wait. They're actually asleep. Yes, I'm the best monster ever. Good night and sleep tight.